Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rick Conti, and I'm not sure what's going on on your Thanksgiving weekend, what have you. Uh, you broke away from the TV, you broke away from the shopping, and you're here on the internet checking us out on YouTube. I appreciate that. If you're just a lover of Corvette, you, you love Corvette people, you love the Corvette marketplace, I'm your guy. This is the channel. We're going to keep you up to date every step of the way. I love representing this car. I love this car, and I love dealing with the people that I have the opportunity to deal with and sharing their experience experiences, along with mine from the retail entity as well. And let's face it, there's never a dull moment in the world of Corvette. Oh my gosh, you guys are so antsy for what's going on. Hey, come on, Rick, give us some C8 news. Talk about 2020 Corvette. In due time, there's going to be more than enough time to talk about this car. Let's face it, there's some, some cool renderings out there right now. I mean, check some of these out. Those are starting to formulate what this car is really truly going to look like, and we're going to be there. I just got my official media pass for Detroit. You know, we're anticipating that car is going to be released in Detroit. We don't know that for sure yet, but I mean, my goodness, you're looking at the most historic Corvette in the history of Corvette. At this point in the game, how could Detroit not be the venue to reveal that? I just don't really see anything else being significant and respectful enough to reveal something like the mid-engine Corvette. So stay tuned for that. Next week, we'll talk a little bit more about mid-engine Corvette. This is a different kind of a Thanksgiving vlog for you guys. Uh, but one thing I'm going to share with you that nobody's talked about on C8 2020 mid-engine Corvette, nothing that you've seen in the renderings that this car needs. <laughs> and you're gonna, and I'm, I'm laughing because I know you guys are gonna laugh when you see it. You're gonna go, wow, you know, that's, that's something really simple. Hey, I'm glad you thought of that, Rick. And yeah, you know what, you're right. The car does need that. So <laughs> that's, com that's coming up next week. So on this Thanksgiving 2018, yes, I do have a lot to be thankful for. And let's face it, it's easy to look at the negative. It's easy to complain. And guys, I could give you a list of things that would make your head spin. Uh, but for me, I just, you deal with it and you move on. I just can't focus on that. I got to focus on the positive and move forward. Just so you guys know, I really truly am thankful for all of your support, all of your kind words, all of your business opportunities. I'm looking forward to some more great stories and some great experiences that are truly a thrill for me to be a part of going forward. So what I have for you on this Thanksgiving vlog is what some of the younger audience will not understand what we're talking about. I have some reruns for you. <laughs> You're like, what's a rerun? <laughs> It's been a fast-paced year. I've been talking to a lot of you, and a lot of you have, have come to us by way of the YouTube channel, and we've talked about some of the different episodes that we've done. They're like, oh, I didn't see that one. Oh, I didn't see that one. So I have a couple clips of three different vlogs from this past year. We're going to do is reruns on today's vlog, but yet they're still on point and on topic for uh, for the marketplace and things that are going on today in the marketplace. Oh, in case you were wondering, yes, that's the new 19 Shadow Gray behind me. More on the inventory, because I've got a bunch that have just arrived uh, coming up at a future vlog. Uh, so our first rerun clip uh, happened in this month last year. It was before the ZR1 was officially announced. I knew it was coming. The skin was coming off in some of the spy car shots that we saw. So I made my own spy car, not necessarily to, you know, to look like a ZR1, but you knew it was some kind of a Corvette spy car-ish type of thing. What, what's going on with that thing? And that's all we wanted to do. I wanted to put myself in the shoes of a spy car driver. Hope you enjoy this rerun clip on our YouTube channel. So this is the car we're going to be using for today's vlog. But it's not going to look like that. Okay, it's like really late and I don't have enough material to finish this. Really wasn't uh, the intention, so I'm a little stressed right now. Uh, I can't wait another week to order more materials because these were specially printed for me for this project. <sighs> Measure twice, cut once. Okay, well, we're, we're gonna make it work the best we can. Uh, thanks for hanging with us.
could just imagine what the guys that actually drive the real spy shot cars around. I mean, you call them whatever you want. The spy shot cars. <laughs> it's, you, if you think about an actual spy shot, you actually think about somebody hiding in the bushes and sneaking up and taking the picture. So, I mean, what we're doing and what they're doing is not really a spy shot per se, but they've got to feel like rock stars driving around, people following them. I want to feel that today as we wait for the anticipation of the next Corvette. I want to feel like a rock star today. So, spy shot drivers, yeah, I want to be you. Of course, we just get on the freeway and I didn't have the camera set up and here goes the guy past us. Here's his iPhone out, taking pictures of us. Post that on Facebook, buddy. You just saw a spy Corvette. <laughs> so I guess the art of this whole thing, if you really want to get attention besides the way that the car looks, is you got to drive about five to 10 miles an hour under the speed limit. <laughs> Having a good time, bro? Yeah, I think it's pretty neat how people have been gawking at us and taking pictures of us. Yeah. Hey, Ryan, I guess we weren't prepared when we left. We need gas, don't we? We better get some gas. Isn't that what the spy car drivers do? They run around and get gas? I just need a dollar's worth of gas. Okay. Now we're all set. Fantastic, a dollar's worth of gas, now we're ready to go. I got a dollar's worth of gas. Is that good? So it figures, I'm filming this vlog. No, I'm gonna get stuck in traffic. I'm driving around Columbus, wanting to get stuck in traffic, wanting people to see us. Nope, we're not. <laughs> now, if I was running an errand or I had to be somewhere at a certain time, you bet I'd be stuck in traffic. But no, when I'm in a spy Corvette and I want people to see us and I want to be stuck in traffic, oh no, everything's flowing real nice today. <laughs> I bet you like the ballet of this car. No way, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are breaking some necks today, though. I've had a lot of people you can just see. <laughs> oh, yeah, they just pulled up, checked it out. Yeah, look at, look at, look at, look at. Now, that idea to park out there and be seen as people drive by, give that credit to Ryan Corvette Conti because he's just a smart kid. Is that yours? Yeah, how you doing, man? Pretty nice. What's it all taped off? Uh, it's a special secret car. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's one of those spy cars. You're not supposed to see it. Yes, so you didn't see that, didn't see right. <laughs> Looks like I got some uh, Firebird following me. He's been hanging around for a while. For you actual spy Corvette drivers out there, if any of you happen to stumble across this vlog, <laughs> hey, welcome. Yeah, I'm gonna do the things that you actually do when you're driving your spy Corvettes. Yes, I'd just like an apple pie, please. I'll tell you guys what, being a spy car driver, and you sure work up an appetite. <laughs> that looks 
so mean. Yeah, it's something else, man. Gonna swing back around again. He's taking a picture. He's taking a picture. Yep, yep, yep. He took a picture. I saw it. There goes another one. See him? See him? That's crazy. Holy. I wasn't even 100% sure that we were getting a ZR1. All right, so now I just told him that it's a spoof. So now what do you think? You think I'm an I, idiot or? No, I, I, I wish it was a ZR1. <laughs> yeah, me too, bro. Bring it, bring me too. It's ZR1. pretty cool though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you really, all I wanted to know is, hey, did I did I capture it? Oh, I pulled it. I saw you pull in. I was over at Starbucks and I yeah. saw it pulling on the street and I came through <laughs> here and I was like, I'm going to wait till he gets out so you don't drive away. But yeah. Well, it looks like something. It looks like a, yeah. It's something mystique. It's a something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and there's yeah. nothing else left for it to be. And how do you like my antennas? Look like yeah, it's official? Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I mean, but they but they look like shit anyways. <laughs> you know, you know, like it up. I was like, dude, what is going on? <laughs> I couldn't figure out like what Absolutely what nothing, brother. Yeah, yeah, it's hilarious. Now here's my other conclusion I've come to. Driving around as a spy Corvette driver, how cool I thought it would be. You know what? It actually can be a little lonely. Yeah, you're driving around and just lonely. <laughs> now, wasn't that fun, you guys? I can't even begin to tell you, you know, how, how the experience was with everybody looking at you to drive around on this rap car. It was pretty, pretty cool. Also on point was ZR1 this time last year. With my background in radio, I was privileged to have the opportunity to get a media pass. I flew to Los Angeles. I was the first dealer on location to share with you the ZR1 on ground here in North America. Check this out from the Los Angeles Auto Show. Just incredible. I mean, just incredible. Look at this place. What's the price? Prices, prices. Going up. Woo! Prices, prices. Bad outside. There it is, guys. The ZR1 convertible. Did you ever think you'd see a day where you'd see a car like that with that kind of horsepower? Now, Harlan Charles from Team Corvette, he's here doing an interview with Motor Trend. I talked to him real quick. We've got some more questions for him or somebody else on the Corvette team. And I'd ask him, I said, you know, we see a lot of the low wing on the convertibles. Is the convertible going to be available with a high wing? And he said, yes, it is. thing I thought was pretty neat is if you look on your Grand Sports and your Z06s, the fender well has that little bit of an extension that's kind of a plastic lip. No, well, that's not on the front of ZR1. Take a look here, see? This is all the fender on the car. Rather than having that lip extension, this is all part of the car. Uh, the unique thing, the exciting thing for me is, is that we're here at the LA Auto Show, at the Media Days. What a wonderful venue. Oh, and one of the things I said is, hey, I was going to bring you with me, and we're going to climb up on the stage. You guys want to go on the stage? Here's one of the other questions that I had had. Some of the people said, well, with the hood being taller because of that supercharger, I mean, does it really obstruct your view? And you know what? I was in the car already. Oh, my gosh. The thing looks freaking fantastic. A little bit of a light glare, but you guys want to see inside the hood? Come on up here. Show you. All right. Come on. Don't be bashful. Come on. I apologize. As you see here, it's a little bit of a glare because of all the fancy glitz and glamour that we got going on at the LA Auto Show. So that glare making it hard to see. Uh, but I can see here, I'm putting my fingers up here. You can check that out. You can see that's about how high the hood is from the dash when you're sitting in the car. This wing, I love it, man. Are you seeing it in person? <laughs> yeah, give me the big wing. basically 10 inches. I told you that thing is huge. Now the other question of concern from some of the people walking up here on the stage, different members of the media looking at it, they're like, well, does the hatch even open? Well, yeah, the hatch opens, but it's interesting how close it is, but you're going to have to, you're going to have to load your suitcases, your golf clubs and all that kind of stuff from the side. I mean
Now, how about that? That was pretty cool. We're going to share the same type of thing and more. We're going to knock your socks off with our coverage from the Detroit Auto Show. Well, that's if the car's actually there. For the 20. If not, I'm not going. The 2020 mid-engine car. So stay tuned to this channel. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell notification. So when I do new uploads, you guys don't miss a thing. Now, you know, we travel. We go different places. We go to shows. We share experiences. That's what we do on this channel. And yeah, and I still sell the car. This is a lot of fun for me too, guys. I really appreciate you going along for the ride. Here's another vlog, a little rerun clip for you, if you will. Uh, that we started 2018 with and what we did is we we ordered a car for a client and rather than come here and drive back in the inclement weather and rather than pay the shipping cost to ship the car to texas uh, we ordered the car and with the acceptance of a local chevy dealership we diverted the order to their dealership he received delivery down there that's what they call a drop ship well here's what i did i hopped on a plane within 24 hours flew into dallas at that dealership surprised the customer at their delivery they had no idea i was coming You guys want to see who the surprise visit is from? Ta-da! Yeah, it's me! <laughs> but here's the thing, I'm not in Ohio. So where the heck am I? I'm in Texas, baby! I can duck inside this storeroom real quick. Uh, they're inside right now, gonna do the paperwork so they can release the car to them to pay for the dropship. And then I'm gonna pop out and let them know that I'm here. So, so far it's, it's going okay, but it didn't go the way that I wanted it to because they were supposed to come in the front. But you know, you know what it is? I knew, I told Catherine they were gonna do this. If they didn't see the car up front, what are they gonna do? Well, let's drive around till we find our Corvette. Oh, there it is. All right, now I'm just waiting for them to come out. So far, so good. They didn't see me. They don't know that I'm here, but a lot of the guys from the dealership inside know that I'm here. So hopefully somebody don't, hey guys, zip it. <laughs> okay, shh. So I guess what I'll probably do so I'll probably wait for him to get done, and as they walk up to the car, uh, I'll come up behind him. Yeah, I heard Pam say she kind of liked it that your name were on the windshield. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this guy came all the way up from Ohio and personally delivered it. You gotta be crazy, Good dude. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Oh. <laughs> Good to see you must have been watching me dogging it right when I first I was, got here. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You almost caught me. I was hiding over there. It's like, oh my gosh. I figured you're gonna drive around the building to find a car. Typical Corvette guy. Can't you just come in the front door? What's wrong with you? Heck no. <laughs> It's great. Wow, well, Lord, really I don't it. believe you did yeah, this. Yeah. Talk about delivery and service <laughs> on parallel. Wayne's still excited that I actually did this. And so am I. I mean, this is neat. This is neat to show up and just see you guys, but you not knowing that I was coming, I thought was pretty cool too. It was talk about a surprise. It yeah. was definitely a surprise. <laughs> I tell you what, I've had a lot of fun this past year. We could go on and on and on about different episodes and different people we met. Uh, but you know, that vlog and that situation, you know, thinking outside the box and being able to share that with you on the channel, sharing his reaction and being a part of the delivery uh, was really special to me. It really was. So I'm glad I had an opportunity to share that with you guys. I uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch that rerun right here on the channel. Our next vlog is going to be about the 2019 ZR1 I delivered in Shadow Gray to Ben in Texas at the National Corvette Museum. Again, we're on the road. I love doing that, man. I really got to get an assistant so I can start doing more stuff like this. But at any rate, whatever we can share, you guys are a part of it. Appreciate your support, you guys. Um, you have... Um, I'm trying to think how I want to say this. I'm not going to go there. Okay, I just you, you just... you guys have no idea on how much your support really means to me. And uh, I, I do want to say thank you. And I wish you and your family the very best this Thanksgiving. Uh, it's wonderful to be a part of your home. Uh, right now, I may be in your living room, I may be in your car, I might be in the computer at the office, but like I said, you broke away from your day to share my day with you, and um, uh, I appreciate that. Have a great rest of your day, you guys. I'll see you on the next vlog, which uh, in real time, it'll be up on Saturday, where you can see the experience we had with Ben. And here's what happened with Ben. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this guy did this to Ben's ZR1 at the museum. <laughs> yeah, see you next vlog.